To sustain a career in this business, it takes pure talent, perseverance, charm, and respect for your audience. Now, many entertainers can put a few of these together, and that makes a star. But when all of those qualities collide, you have a supernova. That type of rare superstar is the only way to describe the career and talent of this year's inductee to the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame. It all began with a voice and a song, and both with remarkable purity. The snowbird sings a song we always sing. The year was 1969, and the world was introduced to Anne Murray. Born in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia, the only daughter amongst five sons, Anne was grounded in a strong family and blessed with a maritime sense of humor. After earning a degree in physical education and a year of teaching in PEI, Anne took a leap of faith and joined the cast of Sing Along Jubilee. Here she met Bill Langstroth, her future husband, Gene McClellan, the writer who penned The Golden Snowbird, and Brian Ahern, the producer who would set it all into motion. In 1968, Anne signed with Capital EMI Records, and to this day, 33 years later, the relationship is still going strong. After being the first solo Canadian female artist to receive an American gold record for Snowbird, the years that followed ushered in three decades of accolades and awards. Grammy Awards, Junos, Country Music Association Awards, Gold and Platinum Albums put Anne's career on the world stage. In 1984, she became the first woman to receive a CMA Album of the Year for a little good news. Anne is a companion of the Order of Canada, has been inducted in Nashville's Walkway of Stars, and has a star at Hollywood and Vine in Los Angeles. In 1993, she was inducted into the Juno Hall of Fame. And in 1989, Anne fulfilled a personal goal when she proudly opened the Anne Murray Center in her hometown of Spring Hill. Balancing career and motherhood, Anne has toured throughout her 34-year career, selling out prestigious venues from London to Toronto to New York. A proud Canadian, Anne's personal and professional standards are as much a part of her legacy as the road she has paved for artists who have followed in her footsteps. With the guidance of managers, the late Leonard Rambo, and today Bruce Allen, Anne's career has flourished and continues to thrive with the phenomenal success of the platinum What a Wonderful World. With sales in excess of 40 million, Anne Murray has now released her 33rd recording, Country Crooning. Her music has followed us through the milestones in our lives. It has inspired us, soothed us, and is firmly woven in our memories. Anne Murray's contribution to the music industry is legendary. Tonight, we celebrate and honor one of Canada's most enduring national treasures, an entertainer, a colleague, a mother, a friend, a woman of strength, courage, and integrity. As long as people continue to listen, I'll continue to sing. Her voice, her music, are gifts she has shared with the world. Anne Murray. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this year's inductee to the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame, my friend Anne Murray. Thank you so much. I expected by now to be retired on some golf course, but uh, 
But something went wrong. I met Bruce Allen, uh, who's been my manager for the last six years, and Bruce thinks I should sing for at least, at least until I'm 90. So. So here I am, as busy as ever. I would never. Thank you. <laughs> I would never have thought, as a 15 and 16 year old girl singing Italian arias and French and German art songs, that I would have ended up here being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, and yet, here I am. Country music has been very good to me, and I'd like to thank country music radio stations everywhere. I'd like to thank the fans. The, the great songwriters over the years, uh, the great producers I've worked with, EMI Records, my managers, Leonard Rambo and Bruce Allen, my wonderful band and crew and staff, family and friends for their support, and to the CCMAs for this prestigious award. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I, think I, I think I speak for everyone here when I, when I wish Gordon Lightfoot a very speedy recovery. We're thinking of you, Gordon. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you.